hour is coming and now is when true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and truth, for such the Father seeks to worship him. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry, and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways. To the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you. Forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen you in all goodness and by the power of the Holy Spirit keep you in eternal life. Amen. Lord, open our lips, and I shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, it is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. The mercy of the Lord is everlasting. Come, let us adore him. Be joyful in the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness, and come before his presence with a song. Know this, the Lord himself is God. He himself has made us, and we are his. We are his people, and the sheep of his pasture. Into his gates with thanksgiving, go into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him, and call upon his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting. And his faithfulness endures from age to age. Psalm 119 from the first verse, we begin on page 763. Happy are they whose way is blameless, whose walk in the law of the Lord. Happy are they who observe his decrees and seek him with all their hearts, who never do any wrong but always walk in his ways. He laid down the commandments that we should fully keep them. All that my ways were in my soul direct, that I might keep your statutes. And I should not be put to shame when I regard all your commandments. I will thank you with an unfailing heart. When I have learned your righteous judgments, I will keep your statutes. Do not think for safety. How shall a young man influence his way by adhering to your words? With my whole heart I seek you. Let me not stray from your commandments. I treasure your promise in my heart, that I may not sin against you. Blessed are you, O Lord. Instruct me in your statutes. With my lips will I recite all the judgments of your mouth. I have taken greater delight in the way of your decrees in all manner of riches. I will meditate on your commandments and give attention to your ways. My delight is in your statutes. I will not forget your word. Be bountiful with your servant, that I may live and keep your word. Open my eyes that I may see the good wonders of your law. I am a stranger here on earth. Do not hide your commandments from me. My soul is consumed at all times with longing for your judgments. You have rebuked the insolent, cursed the way to stray from your commandments. Turn from me shamefully with you, for I have kept your decrees. Even though rulers sit and fall against me, I will meditate on your statutes. And your decrees are my delight, and they are my counselors. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the book of Jonah. The Lord provided a large fish to swallow up Jonah, and Jonah was in the belly of the fish three days and three nights. Then Jonah prayed to the Lord, his God, from the belly of the fish, saying, I called to the Lord out of my distress. And he answered me, Out of the belly of Sheol I cried, and you heard my voice. You cast me into the deep, 
into the heart of the seas and the flood surrounded me and all your ways and your billows passed over me. Then I said, I am driven away from your sight. How shall I look again upon your holy temple? The waters closed in over me. The deep surrounded me. Weeds were wrapped around my head and the roots of the mountains. I went down to the land whose bars closed upon me forever. Yet you brought up the, my life from the pit, O Lord my God. As my life were, was ebbing away, I remembered the Lord and my prayer came to you, into your holy temple. Those who worship vain idols forsake their true loyalty. But I, with the voice of thanksgiving, will sacrifice to you. What I have vowed, I will pay. Deliverance belongs to the Lord. Then the Lord spoke to the fish, and he spewed Jonah out of the dry land, upon the dry land. The word of the Lord. Catechol 11. Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord has dawned upon you. For behold, the darkness covers the land. Deep gloom enshrouds the peoples, but over you the Lord will rise, and his glory will appear upon you. Nations will stream to your light, and kings to the brightness of your dawn. Your gates will always be open, by day or night they will never be shut. They will call you the city of the Lord, the Zion of the Holy One of Israel. Violence will no more be heard in your land. Ruin of destruction within your borders. You will call your God's salvation and all your portals praise. The sun will no more be your light by day. By night will not be the brightness of the moon. The Lord will be your everlasting life, and your God will be your glory. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel according to Luke. Jesus called the twelve together and gave them power and authority over all demons and to cure diseases, and he sent them out to proclaim the kingdom of God and to heal. He said to them, Take nothing for your journey, no staff, no bag, no bread, no money, not even an extra tunic. Whatever house you enter, stay there and leave from there. Wherever they do not welcome you, as you are leaving that town, shake the dust off your feet as the testimony against them. They departed and went through the villages, bringing the good news and curing diseases everywhere. Now Herod, the ruler, heard about all that had taken place, and he was perplexed, because it was said by some that John had been raised from the dead, by some that Elijah had appeared, and by others that one of the ancient prophets had arisen. Herod said, John I beheaded, but who is this about whom I hear such things? And he tried to see him on their return the apostles told Jesus all they had done. He took them by him, he took them with him and withdrew privately to a city called Bethsaida. When the crowd found out about it, they followed him and he welcomed them and spoke to them about the kingdom of God and healed those who needed to be cured. The day was drawing to a close and the twelve came to him and said, Send the crowd away so that they may go into surrounding villages and countryside to lodge and get provisions. For we are here in a deserted place. But he said to them, You give them something to eat. They said, We have no more than five loaves and two fish unless we are to go and buy food for all these people. For there were about five thousand men. And he said to his disciples, Make them sit down in groups of about 50 each. 
they did so and made them all sit down. And taking the five loaves and two fish, he looked up to heaven and blessed and broke them and gave them to the disciples to set before the crowd. And all ate and were filled. What was left over was gathered up twelve baskets of broken pieces. The word of the Lord. Canticle 16. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. He has come to his people to set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of all, that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, we to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight, all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation, by the forgiveness of their sins, and the tender compassion of our God. The dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under the Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, He rose again. He ascended into heaven, and He seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. Hallelujah, the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray, suffrage A. Show us your mercy, O Lord. Grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. Only you can be there to serve you. Lord, keep this nation under your care. And guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth. You save the help from all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Nor the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. You save us with your Holy Spirit. Lord, we pray that your grace may always proceed and follow us, that we may continually be given to good works through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Heavenly Father, in you we live and move and have more being. We humbly pray you, so to guide and govern us by your Holy Spirit, that in all the cares and occupations of our life, we may not forget you, but may remember that we are ever walking in your sight through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Today we pray for the Diocese of Nampula in Mozambique and in our Diocese and Prayer Cycle. We pray for Ravenscroft in Brighton and Methodist Hospice. In our daily prayers, we pray for One Holy Catholic and Apostolic Church, Presiding Bishop. The Diocese of West Tennessee, Bishop Phoebe, Canon Sharon, and in the rest of the Diocese leadership, we pray also for our own parish, St. Andrews. You continue to guide us. You continue to bless our people, the Lord, especially thinking those who are sick or recovering from illnesses having been in surgery or waiting to go in surgery, we pray, O Lord, that your healing hand may be extended to them. We pray 
for complete healing. We also pray for those with difficulties or with extreme anxiety or Lord, we pray that you visit them, calm the, the storms and I pray oh Lord that they would see their miracle today. May you go closer to them, come closer to them. May we get to know you each day much deeper in repentance and conversion. May we grow to know you more, Lord Jesus. You may add in the sessions of Thanksgiving. Peace of the Lord be always with you. Turn to page 361. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give advice to the Christ. It is right and a good and joyful thing always and everywhere to give thanks to you, Father Almighty. Creator of heaven and earth. Therefore, we praise you, joining our voices with angels and archangels, with all the company of heaven, who forever sing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Holy and gracious Father, in your infinite love you made us for yourself, and when we had fallen into sin and become subject to evil and death, you in your mercy sent Jesus Christ, your only and eternal Son, to share our human nature, to live and die as one of us, to reconcile us to you, the God and Father of all. He stretched out his arms upon a cross and offered himself in obedience to your will, a perfect sacrifice for the whole world. On the night he was handed over to suffering and death, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread. When he had given thanks to you, he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup of wine, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Therefore, we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. We celebrate the memorial of our redemption, O Father, in this sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, recalling his death, resurrection, and ascension. We offer you these gifts, sanctifying them by your Holy Spirit to be for your people the body 
and blood of your Son, the holy food and drink of you and the native life in him. Sanctify us also that we may faithfully receive his holy sacrament and serve you in unity, constancy, and peace. And in the last day, bring us with all your saints into the joy of your eternal kingdom. And all this we ask through your Son, Jesus Christ, by him and with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. Now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Hallelujah! Christ our Passover is sacrificed for us. Therefore, Therefore let us keep the feast. Hallelujah. The gifts of God for the people of God. Take them in remembrance that Christ died for you and feed on him in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving. Let us pray. Eternal God, Heavenly Father, you have graciously accepted us as living members of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, and you have fed us with spiritual food in the sacrament of body and blood. Send us now to the world in peace and grant us strength and courage to love and serve you with gladness and singleness of heart Christ our Lord. The peace of God, which passeth all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of His Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be amongst you and remain with you always. Go forth in the name of Christ. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia.